Present every Sunday. Heel to the front pew. 
It's far seen as people these minutes. Oh, as much as mother love to, me really don't have the time. Me always have some research and do for some course. And when it's not that, me just need a little time to, you know, clear my head. Clear your head? Yes. Hmm. Well, if you prefer empty head than a head with God, you can't adopt. Mama, I really cannot take on anything more upon my plate right now, all right? So make it be known, I officially take on a break from church. And a break from God. Grace is, look how God has blessed you, eh? It's for you to come from you, and it's God take your dear. So you can't just turn your back on him. Yeah, Mama, why every time you come over here, you feel like you need fair preach to me about your God and, and church and all sorts of garbage? Is what? Me don't have any time. Gotta go kill me if me don't go to church. If you know we're good for you, you see, you better shut your mouth. Jeremiah 4, verse 4. Circumcise yourself to the Lord. Circumcise your heart. Or my rot will flare and burn like fire. Sometimes I have to wonder if you is a Christian or you is a woman. woman. <laughs> Why every time I just fire a brimstone argument you bring to me? It's a good thing God is not like you. God can be your best dream or your worst nightmare. Him is a merciful God grace, but not take him for granted. Hmm. I tell you these things because I love you and I do not want to see nothing happen to you. Well, then don't put your mouth on me, Mama. Look into my apartment, Mama. Eh? Look into my apartment. You know, sick. Oh, Mama, make me comfortable. <laughs> Watch ya. Bed bones, eh? Picture frame, pan wall. I used to have a wine glass. And I just see one me come my back back. <laughs> Look how when me that go to church with the old me that suffer. The two will just eat up in a one little room. I don't know why you don't even have money to help me. Shut your mouth. <laughs> you ungrateful, greedy picnic. me. God never give nobody more than them can be a root. And you always stand there with your foul mouth and pompous attitude like you read somewhere. Better shut your mouth before you have to turn back and yam them. Mm. I'll be fine, Mama. Mm. As long as me have Jeffrey, we'll be quite fine. So me finally get a name. Mm? Mm. Was that so hard in telling me? You know what? Uh, my brother, you're not sticking nose in my personal affairs. Your wish is my command. But this member grieves as a man so. So shall he reap. I'm in a new grace, but me descending of his spirit. That something bad is down the road. Leave Babylon and go. Yeah. 
breath. Do not make a happy beat my breath and shed thy water for you, you know. Are we pray for your soul? For the physical part, we recommend slim pass. For the sinful part, I recommend losing fat. Need help? Well, step into the gym class. Everybody know in. Are you out? Everybody know in. Are you out? Everybody, everybody, everybody know in. Are you out? Everybody know in. Are you out? Hear me now. If you're damn fit till you're fat, you know you need to get slim. Holy Ghost, if you need to make a promise to me, use the word I got to get slim. Holy Ghost, so man I go tired, get fat on the word, but soul him now weak. Holy Ghost, you better play some gas break and make a exercise good with him. Everybody start. Warm up, warm up. To the Lord, just hold your heart. Jeffrey, do you think I've gotten fat? You have put on a few pounds. Sister, why you never say something all along? What sense it make you tell what both of us are saying? Eh? Is what? The guy in our work? Well, I know I'm not the size six I used to be, but. Is it that bad? Vivian, you're fine. Oh. Why are you so upset about your weight? Oh, because I know I don't have your attention anymore, Jeffrey. And I'm wondering why. I miss the way you used to stare at me. You know, those dirty looks you used to give me. <laughs> Evening church. The look that used to get me so antsy. Oh. <laughs> that I couldn't wait for service to be over. Oh, Jeffrey, it's been so long. This work has been taking a lot of my time. That's all. Well, but work is work, Jeffrey. But it can't be all that. <laughs> Look, we have a few moments to spare. No? Why don't we just get... Uh... Vivian. Yes? I am not in the mood. Maybe later. Uh, hi, Luna. Yes, yes, you will see me at service later. Um, the women's fellowship. Yeah. Well, uh, well, it's just that I'm, I'm, I'm finishing up some chores. <laughs> Woman's work was never done. <laughs> oh, he spoils me rotten. <laughs> well, um, no, we're okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just that he's, he's busy, yes, yes. Yeah, so I'll see you later. Sure. <laughs> All right. God bless you too, my dear. <laughs> Church people, them always in my business. Hmm? Why are they so concerned if they not see my husband? Why is it such a problem to them? Oh. 
condom? Why would Jeffrey have a condom in his wallet? No single man something this. What is this? Oh man. Babe, have you seen my condom? Receipt for a single phosphatidic pillow top? Oh yes, I'll see them. But funny, I don't remember a bed worth eighty-three thousand dollars cash delivered here. Oh, maybe it's a late Christmas surprise. <laughs> Jeffrey, I can't wait to see how you're going to talk yourself out of this one. Vivian, I'm in the force. Condoms are given out to us. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what about though? Throw it back and give it to them. Jeffrey, you are married. Why would they be giving quantums to a man married for 12 years? Furthermore, you're, you're, you're a superintendent. It's not like you're some little rookie acting up like some hot shot. Or maybe you are acting up like some hot shot. So Jeffrey, what is going on here? Don't you see all these changes are, are driving me crazy? Huh? Just be a man and tell me, are you seeing Listen, someone else? If I can't calm down and have a civil conversation, then don't talk to me. Jeffrey, who is the bed for? It's Inspector Campbell. Give me the bed. Oh. I mean, give me the money oh. and ask me to buy the bed for him. Oh, Jeffrey, it's a lie. Must you always have a lie on the tip of your tongue? I'm not lying, Vivian. Mind where you do, you know. Mind where you do. Jeffrey, you are the one with a condom in your wallet. You buy a bed for another household. And me be mine when me I do. You know what? Call Officer Campbell. Call him now. I'll talk to him. Call him. Sure. You, 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 you make this marriage feel like a prison. All this interrogation, this, this, this bag of searching. What all this for Vivian? Because I know you're not being true, Jeffrey. It took me five years to forgive you for stepping out on this marriage already. And you promised me, Jeffrey, you promised that you wouldn't give me such a heartache again. You can't prove anything. So what more proof do I need than this unnerving feeling that the Holy Spirit is giving me? So go ask the Holy Spirit to tell you if there's somebody else now. I did, and this popped up. You know what? Give me the phone. No, give me the Vivian. phone. Vivian, give me the phone. No, Jeffrey. Don't control yourself. Jeff, Jeffrey, Viv Viv Vivian. Vivian. Oh. You see what you cause?
Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit Just like a, a, a mad one over there making all kind of accusations. It's the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. so, de you definitely don't need them the kind of stress they behave, eh? A woman is supposed to take away your stress. And she's doing just the opposite. You got that right. Yeah. If it wasn't the safe face for so much years of, of, of marriage, we divorce her already. You should, Jeffrey. You should. <laughs> I mean, she don't deserve you. You don't know how to cater to all your needs. I mean, me is here. <laughs> my dad is here, huh? My wife is pleasing everywhere. <laughs> Make you feel like the good man that you really is. <laughs> so, mm. so, you think that's the right thing to do? You just see how the man just stress you out. Leave the woman. She can't even give her a picnic. Which man wonder with that woman we can't even give him a picnic? Let the woman. It's not even that, you know. I what? I couldn't live without not having a child. But it's just that things have become so boring. Especially in the bedroom. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> say? <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> no, it's like, it's like ever since she gone deeper in church. Some things have become forbidden. You know what? Uh, you come. Come, Bubu. Come, little girl. Yes, yeah, relax, girl. Shut out your foot, then. <laughs> All right, yeah, Bubu. Shut your eye and go sleep. That will never be the case with me. I will be the judge in hell. She can be Mary. Have some in her mind. <laughs> what a man see a good man. Jeffrey and I, you know. No, for your ass. Mm-mm. You lose a good man. You know what I say? Don't fuck with a old man. Think that when I find God, I'm big in a church. All the most stop do the things dead in the bedroom. <laughs> but we can see the farm full. Because a man like me, they Demand. We have everything <laughs> to own him, everything to own him. The good to the way I can control him every night in our Next week on Saving Grace. A man can't come and I'm going to have a little peace and quiet. <laughs> Sign this paper, Jeffrey. And let me get rid of the toxic waste that I've been sucking on for months. Mm -hmm. It's a curve injury. Yes, Mama. Me is greedy.